Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of Curb Appeal, the series on my channel where I attempt to recreate photographs in The Sims 4 to the best of my ability and those photographs are usually submitted by you guys. But sometimes, sometimes I submit photos to myself. Sometimes I'm pretty good at finding photos as well. But generally speaking, you guys submit photos either in the Discord or you DM them to me on my social media and I recreate them here on Curb Appeal. So if you guys have a photo you guys want me to recreate, join the Discord link down below or message me on Instagram or Twitter or something also link down below. So today, as you can see, we are building another house in Henford on Bagley, aka the new world that came with the cottage living expansion pack and we are building this beautiful modern farmhouse. But before we get into building this modern farmhouse in The Sims, I want to talk about another farmhouse I've been working on in a mobile game called Word Farm Adventure aka today's sponsor. So thank you so much to Word Farm Adventure for sponsoring today's episode of Curb Appeal. Word Farm Adventure is a mobile app on Android and iOS which you can download for free in the description of this video. It's a unique game that combines word puzzle challenges with renovation and design. Each level Level allows you to solve crossword puzzles and complete word scramble missions which rewards you with the tools you need to fix up, rebuild, and renovate your entire farm and villa. Here you can see my villa is looking quite pretty now and currently I'm working on the guest bedroom. I was able to customize so much in this room from the bed to the end tables, the rug, the lamps, and there's still so much more for me to do. And get this, there is even a fluffy rug in this game which I know you guys are all going to love. They offer so many style options for each furniture piece such as classical or country, contemporary, and modern so you can really make it your own. I'm really loving how my villa is coming along and I especially love the kitchen as usual. You guys know how much I love to design and decorate but I also really enjoy challenging my brain which is why this is one of my favorite games right now. So if you are up for a challenge, download Word from Adventure now from the link in the video description available now for free on Android and iOS. Now, if you guys remember at the beginning of this video, there actually was an existing house on this lot, hence why all of the landscaping and the crops and the farm aspects with the chickens is already done. And that's because I'm actually using one of the default lots that comes with this pack as kind of like the skeleton or like the foundation of my build you know, work work smarter, not harder, as they say. Pretty much, I thought that the existing, like, area around the lot was already so, so beautiful and perfect, and I really just wanted to build the house and kind of fit it in with the existing lot. And first and foremost, all credit goes to Devin Bumpkin for the original, like, lot and landscaping. If you guys don't know, Devin Bumpkin as well as three other amazing simmers in the community actually collaborated with EA and the Maxis Studio to create the default lots that came with this expansion pack. So if you do download this expansion pack, all of the amazing lots that are auto populated like come with the pack were built by amazing amazing simmers so definitely all original creds go to Devin Bumpkin and their amazing landscaping and all of that but I really just wanted to focus on the house aspect and I really didn't see anything wrong with the existing landscaping at all and that's the beautiful thing about having simmers create the default lots that come with the packs is it makes it so we don't have to like bulldoze everything when we get into the world because usually in the past when we've kind of had these like subpar homes that come with the packs like no offense to the EA people that build it but uh, we've always had to like do full-on renovations but now that they're collaborating with creators we get a lot of these really beautiful existing lots right off the get-go that barely need any renovation so here I'm, you know, working smarter, not harder. I don't need to fix the landscaping if if it's already perfect. <laughs> Honestly, I probably couldn't do as good of a job 
um, as the existing one here because I do not specialize in large lots and I get very overwhelmed with them. So I really like this idea of kind of like revamping the existing lots and like working with what with what we have. But I will say I felt so, so bad bulldozing the existing house, just knowing that it was created by another amazing simmer in the community. I was like, oh, I don't want to bulldoze your home, but I also really want to build my own home. So I'm sorry. <laughs> I guess that's the one downside with having like community members build the homes is you just feel so bad like you don't want to you don't want to delete their precious work but you know you got to make room so so we can build too i guess <laughs> but anyways as you can see i have popped the photo of the reference photo up on the screen here so this is actually a beautiful beautiful farmhouse crafted by michael abraham architecture so i'll have obviously all of the links and the articles and stuff linked down below if you guys want to look into this architect a little bit further honestly i was really really drawn to this home because it's of course you know my general color scheme white bright with the black windows that gives it more of a modern vibe but I thought it was kind of interesting how this roof was a little bit more brown and it had some other wood textures incorporated into this home. Now, usually when I create these kind of craftsman, more modern type farmhouses, they have a black roof or more of a like metal, like sheet metal looking roof. But this one was a little bit more brown and cottagey looking and I thought that I could substitute it for the new thatched roof that comes with the pack so it would be a good way to kind of fuse it in with the cottage living expansion pack so I know that this roof that I used is not exactly the same as the roof in the photograph but I did want to kind of put a little bit of a cottage spin onto it so I think the photo maybe looks a little bit more on the modern side perhaps, but I kind of tried to cottageify it a little bit. So you can see I put a ton of the vines going up the side and stuff like that. So we got some new vines with the new pack. I combined that with some of the um, vines that come with the get together pack. Those are some of my favorite vines, the get together ones with the little flowers. I think those are so, so pretty. So I put those around everywhere just to make it look a little bit more overgrown, a little bit more cozy and a little bit more cottagey feeling. Um, in the reference photo, obviously it's more clean and modern and there's no overgrowth really. But also in the reference photo, you can see that the landscaping is quite polished and quite formal. Whereas the landscaping I was working with here is a little bit more natural and a little bit more overgrown. So I kind of wanted to fuse this house with the existing landscaping and add that overgrown effect with the vines. So yes, I'm liking it so far. We have the shell pretty much done. And I will say that I was really drawn to this reference photo because of all of the dimensions and the shapes and the roof. Honestly, the roof was a little bit harder than I expected. I like to think that I'm pretty decent at roofing, but I I was challenged. I was very stumped at this roofing, to be honest, which I think is a good thing. I want to challenge myself when it comes to roofing, um, especially since I do do a lot of houses with the same style. I think that it's always nice to keep pushing myself to try different shapes and different, you know, different roof techniques and stuff like that, just to make sure that I am learning new tricks and always progressing in terms of build, build style and stuff like that. And I don't think that there's anything wrong with sticking to a style that you love all the time, but I personally do like to challenge myself a little bit and yeah, like just expand my horizons and do different shapes and stuff like that. Just make it a little bit more interesting. But I always like to stick to my favorite color palettes and my favorite items. Obviously, you can see here that I really heavily leaned into the Moschino windows, which I think the Moschino windows are some of the best windows in the world. <laughs> Honestly, the Moschino stuff pack is great is great and i don't i don't know why everybody didn't like it well actually i do know why and i won't even get into it because 
I don't need to talk about negative things right now. All I need to say is that the Moschino windows are worth it. <laughs> they are so worth it and I use them all the time. But here you can see we are working on the back porch area. So there's actually like two porches or patios in this home. There's one on the side and there's one on the back. The one on the side is a little bit more lounge focused. I put like a fire pit and I'm gonna put a hot tub here as you can see. And then the one on the back is a little bit larger and I put like a nice barbecue section. So this place is great for entertaining and dining and I also ended up putting like a little picnic bench out of the back by the tree so that you can have like family picnics and stuff on the lot or invite people over and have like a backyard barbecue. I don't know, I just feel like this lot is so, this property is so large that it'd be nice to have like a lot of family over or something like that or just have have the entire town invite the entire town of Hanford on Bagley over to your property because you have the space <laughs> you have the space just throw a huge party make a barbecue have a picnic people can be fishing people can be tending to the cows make a little petting zoo or something I don't really know invite Agnes and Agnes's sister just invite everyone invite the mayor just have a big party have people over all the time um so here you can see i am onto the inside and i was experimenting a lot with like platforms and that's something that i've really been loving ever since the platform tool came out you guys know i use platforms in pretty much every single build anytime i can i will be using platforms and i don't I don't need to repeat myself. They're great. It's a great feature. I love the dimension. And you guys know that I love open concept floor plans. So platforms are always the way to go. But I ended up making like a little staircase out to the back on the left side of the build. You'll kind of see it later or you might have just seen it now where I kind of use platforms to make stairs, which I think is a cool look. It looks very modern. And for the interior here, the design inspiration I was kind of going for was complete complete renovation. So maybe this house could be older. I'm not really sure. Maybe it was you know, it's been in the family for, you know, a couple generations perhaps, but they have done a complete renovation of the interior. So if you're wondering, oh, why is it like a cottage and a farm, but the interior is modern? It's because they renovated it. They wanted it to be modern and expensive and have all the nice appliances and they completely gutted it to make it more up to the times because that's something that I would do. <laughs> I love I love things that are renovated. Um, I think that there's something really nice about having an older place and then renovating it to be really nice and modern. I know a lot of like my friends like parents and stuff have bought like apartments in like older buildings that are like quite a bit older so obviously they're like a little bit cheaper but then they do like a full renovation on the interior so like the building on the outside looks like kind of old but then you go inside and it's like all brand new and beautiful and I really love that feeling of like having something just like new and renovated so that's kind of the feel that I was going for here they got this and they renovated it so it's nice and open concept and it's very minimalistic it's a little bit cold feeling i will say that i went for a color scheme that was colder than usual especially with the white brick on the wall and i must say the white brick from the cottage living expansion pack is doing it for me it is doing it for me is it better than the dine out white brick we, we're gonna have to give it a couple months before we decide if it's better than the dine out white brick but I will say the brick in this pack lovely beautiful I'm gonna be using it in apartments in you know so many other builds it comes in tons of different colors but um, like I was saying the brick does add that element of coldness to it and also that combined with the like minimalistic decor definitely gives it that kind of new 
modern, ultra modern feel, but I tried to warm it up with elements like the fluffy rug, obviously, and then also incorporating some warmer colors with the warm floorboards, uh, the warm colored wood toned doors, and then the kitchen, I went for a more orangey wood. So when I'm doing these more modern built, which is pretty much every time. If I'm going to make it minimalistic and cold feeling, I like to add a lot of warmth. So, you know, warmer colors like orange and brown and stuff like that. Or also you can add warmth with texture. So adding like a fluffy rug adds a feeling of warmth, obviously, because it's like nice and nice and warm on your toes and stuff like that. So I really like the contrast of those of those textures and those feels and that's kind of um, how I base a lot of my decor style off of is you know the warm and the cold and the juxtaposition of the different styles and the and the feelings and stuff like that so um anyways we're pretty much done the living room and the kitchen I kind of like the kitchen layout it's so it's something I don't usually do. Usually I like to have my kitchen like completely lined up against a wall with cabinets. But this one, I kind of have the kitchen like floating in the middle with like a half wall. So it's kind of an interesting concept on, my, on a kitchen. It definitely feels more modern and not so homey with the kitchen kind of so simple and minimal like that. But I'm very happy with it. It's something that I don't usually do I usually like line the whole wall with cabinets and do like a very cookie cutter kitchen almost but this one felt different and felt a little bit more simple and it felt like it kind of went with the minimalistic feel so I'm quite happy with it let me know what you guys think about it obviously I used a ton of dream home decorator in this build too because it is my favorite pack in the world <laughs> now here you can see I am doing the master bedroom so Again, we are going on a theme of platforms in this build. So I decided to section off this master bedroom into like a bedroom section. And I elevated this back section as a walk-in closet. So it's very open. I didn't actually put a full wall, just a half wall. So it is very open and airy and cold and modern and yeah. I don't know. I think it's cool. I think it um, is very, it's, it's kind of different than what I usually do. Usually for like a walk-in closet, I would fully close it off. But this one, I wanted to really lean into the whole platform idea and like separating via platforms. So I don't know. I'm just trying to try new things here. I'm just trying to try new things. But obviously the walk-in closet um, items are from the Dream Home Decorator Game Pack. So if you have not gotten that pack yet, I don't know what to tell you. I do not know what to tell you. If you haven't got the Dream Home Decorator Game Pack, I'm sorry, but you're probably not going to be able to download any one of my builds ever going forward because I think I'm going to be using the Dream Home Decorator Pack in every single build from now on. Just because, you know, sectional couches, walk-in closets you know, sectional couches. Need I say more? <laughs> Need I say more? But here you can see I just did a little walk-in closet with a little island. I really like adding islands to walk-in closets. It makes it feel more luxurious and just adds some room separation. And then I added just a full-length mirror, a nice fluffy rug again, and then yeah, a little clothing rack. But here you can see I am doing like a little desk space. So I actually am using the dining table from Dream Home decorator i know a lot of people have said they don't really like this black table as a dining table they don't think it looks very nice um i know it's not everybody's style but i thought it it was really nice to use as a desk actually sometimes the desks in this game can be too formal and too officey looking and sometimes you don't want a desk that looks like an office because not every single desk space has to be a formal office with drawers and stuff like that. Sometimes you want a stylish desk that will fit nicely in a bedroom or in a living room or something like that. And for those instances, I like to use a dining table instead because sometimes dining tables can tend to be a little bit more stylish looking and a little bit more symmetrical looking. Um, so yeah, that's a little tip for you. If you're not very inspired with the desk options, definitely look at the dining tables um, but you can see we are on to the kids bedrooms so here we are using 
more dream home decorator and i'm using the bunk beds that came with the dream home decorator game pack obviously we do have bunk beds in the base game as well but i really love the color palette on the dream home decorator ones and yeah i thought it'd be nice to fit two kids in this room i feel like every time i make a kid's bedroom from now on i always just default to bunk beds because if you can fit one kid why not fit two <laughs> just in case i mean from like a builder's perspective i don't necessarily know what you guys are going to be using this room for so i always like to add a bunk bed just to give you the option like if you don't want to have two kids then you can just you know take one of the bets away and it's totally no problem but i thought it'd be nice to at least give you guys the option in case you do have two kids but other than that, I'm just adding the essentials like a desk and some toys and a dollhouse and stuff like that. And you'll see later I end up actually sectioning off this bedroom as well. So I felt that this bedroom, obviously it's a kid's bedroom, so it's a little bit more colorful, but it felt a little bit more cluttered than the rest of the home. And I know it's a kid's bedroom, obviously it's going to be cluttered, but I like the entire home to sometimes feel a little bit more cohesive from room to room, um, even though that's not necessarily super realistic, especially, you know, if you have a child, they're not going to have like a minimalistic modern bedroom, but you know, it's the Sims <laughs> and that's, that's what I feel like doing. So I decided to actually put a platform in their room to kind of like go with the whole platform theme just to make this room kind of mesh well with all of the other rooms because every other room has a platform so why not the kids room <laughs> so i don't know i think it it looks nice like it adds some nice separation it makes it feel a little bit more interesting i guess um sometimes kids bedrooms can be kind of one dimensional especially when you just throw in a bunch of clutter and doll houses and toys and it just looks messy so the platform kind of helps separate off the room a little bit and add a little bit more structure to it which i love but here we are just finishing up with a little dining room i don't really know how i did the dining room last i did everything out of order for this build but i'm just doing a simple base game dining table with some dream home decorator chairs which are some of my favorite dining chairs. I feel like Dream Home Decorator was just a shining star in today's build, which we are not surprised by that at all. Dream Home Decorator was, in my opinion, the best pack of 2021, maybe even the best pack of the decade because it had sectional couches. <laughs> so I'm a little bit biased because I love sectional couches. But anyways, um, once again, I just want to give a massive, massive thank you to Word Farm Adventure for sponsoring today's video. Please do not forget to download the game now available on Android and iOS for free. The link will be in the description of this video. But overall, I am extremely happy with the way that this build turned out. I have been wanting to recreate this photo for so, so long. And yeah, you know when you're like really excited about an exterior, you want the interior to also live up to your expectations. So I feel like I made the interior exactly how I personally wanted it to be. And I think that it's one of my favorite builds. So I'd love to hear what you guys think about it. And if you are going to make any changes, because I feel like I left enough room here it's like basic and minimal enough that you can totally make your own changes to fit your own style if you want to make it a little bit more warm or add a little bit more clutter i feel like it would be really easy to alter it a little bit to fit your needs but besides that the video should be done and the screenshot should be rolling thank you guys so so much for watching please let me know if you are one of the people that made it to the end of the video thank you so so much if you liked it don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and leave a comment down below what you thought about it and rate my recreation skills out of 10 how close did i get it to the reference photo and if you have any suggestions on how you think i could have done it better or any improvements please leave a comment and leave some feedback i'd love to hear it and if this is our first time meeting don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to be friends or if you want to see more sims 4 videos i love you guys so much and i will see you guys all in my next video bye everybody